Anyway, there was this interesting article on the Huffington Post, HuffPo, talking about the um, the attention that we give to these suicides. And it was a very interesting read. I don't have it in front of me. I Where did it go? Oh, damn it. I need to be more organized here. Been busy all day. Anyway, it was a very interesting read. This news article. It was mostly an opinion. A blog post on Huffington Post. Gay voices. And it was about something that it's been on my mind for uh, a while, ever since the hype of this whole problem. Now, these gay youth that kill themselves, that commit suicide, this is not a new problem. This is not a new phenomenon. This is it's not like AIDS, where, oh my God, you know, like in the 80s, we had the AIDS pandemic. Some people have called suicide, or not just any suicide, but this type of suicide, you know, because people also kill themselves over financial reasons or because they were betrayed or because of, uh, you know, romance or a divorce going wrong, something, you know, stuff like that. Mostly people kill themselves because of the, you know, the financial reasons these days. But uh, a lot of gay activists say, well, this is a new pandemic. This is a new, uh, you know, they treat it like a, if it's a virus, like if it was AIDS. AIDS is a serious problem. Very serious. In fact, uh, AIDS uh, should be still a serious problem. And a lot of gay people don't see to see that anymore. They, don't, they say, eh, well, I can just take a couple of pills a day and, you know, then that's it. No. Uh, we shouldn't just let it go. We have to find a cure for that disease. Uh, that's it. No if, ands, or buts about that. But to compare gay teen suicide to AIDS is really far off. Really far off because during the 80s, nobody knew what was going on. Not even the gay community knew what was going on. Uh, gay men did not know how they contracted this disease. We're not going through that with this suicide problem. Suicide has always been a problem within the gay community. Yes, studies have shown that gay teens are more capable of committing suicide thanks to supposedly a bullying. But I don't think that is the sole problem. It could be family rejection. It could be other things. Look at it this way. This is, I mean, for a lot of gay youth, their world is really complicated. And if you look at, looked at many studies that have been done about this issue and also mental health covering the youth, you'll see that their mental development is not fully fully matured until they're like 19 or 20. That's why they don't allow people under 21 to drink alcohol because that causes your brain, you know, to lose some brain cells and uh, stop it from fully developing. But people have debated that over the years and decades. I don't know. But yeah, of course, uh, gay teens will be less mature than, on, on average, I'm not saying that everybody is like that. I see very mature young gay teens, and I see very immature 50-year-olds. But on average, gay youth are, you know, they tend to be more immature. They tend to look at things differently. It's the end of the world if they don't go to the mall, that kind of stuff. And some of these teens, not just gay teens, but these teens, these our youth today, they have different priorities. You know, it's it's more important to to buy the latest pair of sneakers, uh, the latest gadget, uh, you know, the first one to you know be doing this and that on Facebook or on 
or, or you know, or, or 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 the first one to be, you know, all this stuff is 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 it's just so meaningless. And not only are you young in high school and you have to deal with that stupid bullshit about, you know, uh, you know this popularity contest, all this bullshit, all this posturing and. It, it, it's all theater, but yet it really damages you. I mean, look, I was a kid. I was in high school, and I had to play the part, and I had to do all this shit. I had to, you know, BS my way through a lot of crap, and I felt bad about it. And it was horrible, and it really damages you. And in a way, it does. I mean, our, our social construct of high school society is so fucking screwed up. It needs to be fixed. We need to address this issue. We need to say, you know, um, people, 15-year-olds and 16-year-olds acting like little kids is not acceptable. Your young adults act like that. You're going to be adults within two, three years. And I've seen this with my own family. You know, these 17-year-olds acting like they were eight. Grow the fuck up. And, you know, these gay kids have to go through that shit. Of all that bullshit. The non-gay bullshit, right? Then they have to deal with the gay bullshit. Some of them get it from the church. If they're Catholic or if they're Southern Baptist or they're Mormon. Or some other reactionary church or Jehovah's Witness in my case. Very reactionary, very right wing, very, it was basically a cult. Let me just say that. And so you have that side. Then you have the family, right? Some family members are not going to accept you being gay. And it does. And they always get clues. Moms always know when there's something going on with their kid. They always know. Moms always know. Believe me, they know. If you're a gay teen and you're listening to this, if you... Ask yourself, does mom know? The answer is yes. Your mom either suspects or she probably already knows that you are having uh, some sort of questioning of your sexuality or that you're gay or something, you know, something in that nature. So don't be surprised if she says, I knew, you know, I had some idea that you were gay. But uh, of course, Many parents, many families react differently. So you have to deal with that. And then you have to deal with the other kids who are going to react to your gayness or to your homosexuality, your sexual orientation. And that's, uh, and that, I mean, that's something you have to deal with as well. And then with your friends, your close friends, and then the, your acquaintances. And then, of course, the school itself, you know, the teachers, the principals. You think that, oh, well, you know, school administrators, teachers, principals, counselors, these people are you know, mature adults. They have degrees. They should know what to do in case they have a problem with a gay teen. No, you will be amazed as to what, how, how um, incompetent some of these people are. I mean, my counselor that I had in high school, he was totally a dipshit. Didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. And not until I went through college, university, and graduated and, and actually started looking back, I'm saying, you know what? That dude was a total dipshit. He didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. He was talking through his, through his ass. He was an egomaniac. And these people that work in these kinds of, a, you know, I mean, it doesn't matter where you work at. You know, it, it's, it's, the same at, it's, it's the same every place. There are people who are always competing, trying to be the top guy there they're trying to get the next promotion they're trying to beat the other guy and so they're gonna be pompous that they're gonna be all you know everything is about them getting the better office the better job the better desk the better computer i seen this myself in places where i worked and they don't give a rat sass about their clients about with their product about the service or about the students in this case in, in high school i mean i seen this before. And if you are a gay student or gay high school student listening to this, uh, you know, uh, get used to that being part of your future life because bullshit will always be following around. Be ready for that.
so getting back to the article, uh, the article was very interesting in saying that maybe we shouldn't hype up the gay teen suicide. And that's what I've been saying all along. We owe it to these gay youth to say, look, you shouldn't kill yourself, period. We don't need to make it, it gets better video. We don't, uh, you know, we don't need to pump any more air into weenie Dan Savage's head. We don't need to do that. Okay? What we need to do is to organize and say, let's set up a suicide hotline over here. Let's set up a mental health center for gay youth. Let's actually address the problem, not just put up a video and that, and you know, forget about it. But to hype it in the media, to say, oh no, oh my God, this gay teen killed himself and then Lady Gaga shows up. Oh yeah, right. You think she's there because she really cares about the kid that killed himself? No, she, she's there because, you know, to look good for the media. Look good for the gay community, so all of you dipshits that really believed in her will buy her albums. You see what I'm saying? And so, all of us are being duped to believe that, oh my god, you know, there's a problem. Well, yeah, there is a problem. It's just that right now, the media and the gay media and the gay bloggers, Joe Jervis, Andy Tao, well, not much Andy, but Joe and all these other dumbasses are making this an issue they're making this an issue and the more they talk about it the more it's in the conscious of these teens now remember we want to protect them we don't want them to kill themselves suicide is never an option in fact it should even no no human should ever try to contemplate suicide and when we talk about it and hype it in the media and sort of, in a way, glamorize these people as martyrs. I mean, I've seen people on the internet, on Twitter, saying, Oh my God, we have a new martyr. He killed himself. He hung himself in the playground where everybody saw. And, you know, it, suicide in reality is a selfish act. It's an act of desperation. And you hurt people around you when you do that, when you kill yourself. You hurt your parents, you hurt your, your family. And Tyler Clemente. I mean, that guy, he wasn't even being bullied like traditionally being bullied. He was caught having sex. The His stupid roommate videotaped him and, you know, did all that, invaded his privacy. But the roommate was probably, you know... You know, a douchebag, but he was very much titillated by gay sex. And people say, oh, he was homo homophobic. I don't think he was homophobic. I think he was just being a jerk. He thought he was going to be funny. But I don't blame him because who knew that a joke like that would lead to somebody kill them, killing themselves? And I think, in a way, you can say that what Tyler Clemente did was homophobic because when he was confronted with his own homosexuality in real life, that this was being exposed in the internet, I mean, if I was him, I would be like, yeah, that's me, I'm fucking, all right? Yeah, I got laid, I got some. There. Get over it. No, but he, oh, he had to kill himself now because they found this perversion of, of mine. He felt perverted over his homosexuality. I'm not saying that's how he felt, but I can imagine. So he probably killed himself for that. So in a way, if you kill yourself, you're homophobic. That's what I'm saying. That's what I think. I, I, you're you're playing into the homophobia. Your 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 bullies win when you kill yourself. You win. They win actually. But now since we turn and think, you know, we think that by celebrating these people that kill themselves that we sort of turn the tables around the bullies but no what we're doing is we're glamorizing unintentionally glamorizing suicide and that's what the article is talking about 
The thing is, we should address it, yes, but as a mental health issue within the community. We should address it. Because of the fact that a lot of the attention towards the the issue has always been about, oh, this poor kid, we're going to name a center, a building after his name. We're going to have a bill in Congress named after him. and every, You know, he gets glorified. I mean, this guy is a saint now in the gay community or in the uh, liberal base. And that is really toxic, I think, in a way, because it makes an impression to these vulnerable kids. Hey, if I kill myself, you know, at least people will be will finally feel sorry for me. I mean, that's what they really are talking about now. So um, that's the argument that the article presented. And, and, and I think it's appropriate to tone it down to say, you know what? It is a problem. We're going to tone it down. And the, and the guys over at the Gay Report who I work with, uh, you know, they say, hey, Jose, should we report? Well, I mean, if it's out there, it's out there. Might as well. I hate to do it, but since we are neutral on on issues, we, you know, uh, except when they're really homophobic and stupid, then, you know. But the fact of the matter is, is we know all we do is we report. But my personal opinion, my personal, you know, inclination is we shouldn't be hyping this we shouldn't be saying hey look oh my god poor kid no we should say look yes this is a problem never commit suicide don't ever do it in fact uh many people have said um in the uh medical community uh, especially the, these um medical examiners who work at these morgues uh, they've been saying that when they get these suicides in, except for those who jump off the bridge, uh, but you see people who like hanging themselves and all this, when they finally do the act, they immediately try to rescue themselves and stop, but they can't and they kill themselves because I think it's horrible. When you choke yourself, it's really horrible. It's painful. And when you strangle yourself like that, it's really it's really horrifying because naturally speaking your brain doesn't want to you know subconsciously uh, I, I want to say subconsciously but there's this there's this you know natural feeling within your brain not to commit this but you know consciously you're just trying to push you through you're trying to commit suicide there's this mechanism within their brains you know the fight or flight response to be able to survive but you know that's what I heard, and that, and uh, you know most of these people they kill themselves in the end. Don't when they finally do the act in the middle of the act, they try to you know stop it, but it's too late. They kill themselves. So uh, yeah, I agree with the article. Finally, something that I can read and uh, agree with, we should tone it down. Stop the suicide hype. For the sake of these kids, stop it.